Folks, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have requested, and I believe scheduled, Evan, another interview with a potential offensive coordinator option. This time, it is Clint Kubiak of the Denver Broncos. Evan, is there any word as to whether or not it's just been requested for an interview or one is scheduled with Clint Kubiak? What, what's the uh, word on that? Uh, yeah, so Rick Stroud reported, uh, he was the one that originally reported it, and then he also reported that uh, the Bucks have asked uh, permission uh, to interview Kubiak. So um, he was under the Broncos staff that got fired under Nathaniel Hackett. So I'm not exactly sure what the rules are as to why, you know, uh, they would need to request anything, but uh, you know, nonetheless, they have. You know, and taking a look at Kubiak and some of his more recent jobs, right? With the Minnesota Vikings in 2019, 2020, he was the quarterback's coach, got to work with Kirk Cousins. You guys know here on the channel, I'm a pretty big Kirk Cousins guy, okay? I'm a pretty big Kirk Cousins guy, and it seems like Kubiak was a pretty decent part in helping, you know, Cousins grow and develop there. He was then the offensive coordinator in 2021 with the Minnesota Vikings. That was not the last year of Mike Zimmer, or was it? Was Kevin O'Connell uh, yeah, there? Yes, yes. Kevin, the Kevin, this was Kevin O'Connell's first year as the Vikings head coach. Okay, but still, I, I think it does still stand to say that, you know, he does have previous offensive coordinator experience. So does the last guy we talked about, Jim Bob Cooter. Uh, but, you know, recently here at the Denver Broncos, he was the passing game coordinator and quarterbacks coach. Now, Evan, that's a little bit bleh, because, you know, you look at how the Broncos did this year with Nathaniel Hackett, with Russell Wilson, so many people were critical of Russ and just how the Broncos offense did this year. Do you think that that is a knock potentially or a little bit of a whatever the word may be on Clint Kubiak and his ability to coach? Um, it could be a little bit, um, uh, because I think, you know, everybody has a little bit of responsibility in that. Just like with Jim Bob Cooter, he has a little bit of responsibility because they're both passing game coordinators, uh, Jim Bob Cooter with the Jaguars, Clint, uh, Clint Kubiak with the Broncos. So, uh, I, I think you share responsibility in both the good and the bad. So, um, I, I do think there's a little bit there, um, his previous year. And that's what I tend to look at. I like to look at when he was an offensive coordinator, um, and his previous year with the Vikings as the offensive coordinator. Uh, the Vikings finished 12th in yards per game in the NFL and 14th in points per game. So um, kind of average in, in that sense. Uh, but obviously, you know, it would, it would be an upgrade over what the Bucks had last year. If they had those numbers this year, they would be a much better team. But, um, you know, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. He is the son of former Broncos head coach and Texans head coach Gary Kubiak. So uh, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, father-son history that he's about obviously been around the game a long time and uh we'll have to wait and see whether he's a legit candidate i mean obviously they have interest because you know they're they're requesting to interview him and um i i i think you you have to ask about it uh the denver stuff because and I, i'm sure the bucks will in the interview uh the interview process assuming it gets granted um but I also don't think it's something you don't hire a guy because of. It's not like he was the offensive coordinator or, you know, like Nathaniel Hackett was pretty much the play caller. So, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's a tough spot. It's a tough spot to be in when an offense like that is struggling. You know, and yeah, you look at Clint Kubiak here. He's 35 years old. So one of those younger guys that could be getting a shot here at OC. I liked, you know, the Vikings offense, you know, the past couple of years. And now that, you know, you see that Clint Kubiak was a part of that, that gets me definitely intrigued. The Denver Broncos stuff, that is a little bit of a question raiser, I guess you could say. But let's be honest. I mean, geez, that that was not working out for anybody, you know. So you could even make the argument that, hey, you know, geez Louise, you know, he can't save a sinking ship. So um, it's still going to be interesting, like you said, worth mentioning. I, I like the idea of Clint Kubiak as OC. I, I think that that could be a very intriguing name throughout this process. Kubiak has had a lot of interest from other teams as well, I believe, correct? He's interviewed for a couple of teams here or there for OC positions. I believe his name has been connected with the Jets. Um, I, I think that's the, the biggest one thus far. Um, yeah, I mean, it would be intriguing, uh, I, I think, because I, he's a guy who I think you could give another shot to. Um, and he, he's had kind of semi success recently, you know, with the Minnesota Vikings. So, um, it could be an opportunity here in Tampa for him. Yeah. So we'll have to wait and see folks. Uh, again, Clint Kubiak to me is one of the more interesting names. I want to know your guys thoughts and opinions as well. Of course, uh, let us know what you think about Clint Kubiak. Would you want him as OC? Do you think that his time with the Denver Broncos is a no go for you? 
What are your thoughts on his time with the Minnesota Vikings? Let us know your guys' thoughts and opinions. We would love to hear them. Go check out Evan, by the way, his work at BucksNation.com. Also, the co-host of the Cannon Fire podcast and the main host of the Real to Real podcast, which we both do. So go check that stuff out. It'd be greatly appreciated. Folks, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. We will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.